Hey, what's going on people, Bear Fox here and welcome back to another brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can fix and get much better performance and FPS in Genshin Impact. Once again, I hope this video helps you out, so make sure to watch it till the end. Also, don't forget to leave your specs in the comments below and with all that said, let's get started. <laughs> Number one is open up the launcher in Genshin Impact and right here simply go to these three dots and then click on repair now. Most of you guys will have your FPS fixed just by doing this one simple step. If there are any broken files or corrupted data in the game folder it will automatically fix it. But if this does not do the trick for you guys follow the steps ahead. Step number two is the essential windows settings and for that simply search for settings. Once you are in here, simply search for game mode and then click on turn on game mode, then simply enable it. This will basically optimize your PC by turning off the background apps and notifications so you do not get bothered and your computer can utilize complete resources while playing game. Right beneath that, there is related settings and you will find graphics over here. This is where you can actually hardware accelerate your game. Once it opens up, you can see the list of all the games and applications installed on your computer which requires your GPU. Scroll down and find Genshin Impact over here, if not already. You can always click on browse button and add the game manually. For me, I have Genshin Impact right here. Simply go to options and then click on high performance. And for the exe file, go with the high performance and click on save. Once it is done, go to windows updates and make sure that your windows is up to date. If there are any updates pending on your windows, you can simply click on download and install all. Right under that, you will have the advanced options. Go to it, go to delivery optimization and make sure to disallow downloads from other PC and that is going to save a lot of bandwidth on your computer as well. Once it is done, search for temporary files and click on delete temporary files. Right over here, it will do a storage analysis of your drive on the computer, basically local list C. Or the system drive and it will calculate the storage that is consumed by a computer as you can see in the temporary file there is up to 6.8 GB that can be cleared so over here except downloads you can remove each and every file from this section just keep your downloads as these are important and you may lose important data if you have checked that you do not need anything from downloads click that as well and simply remove files click on continue and that will delete all of your temporary files from your computer once it is done let's move to step number three that is system configuration simply search for system configuration over here and as soon as it pops up go into the boot section advanced options click on number of processors and use the maximum number of processors available on your computer click on ok now this will make your boot up time faster and also improve the performance of computer. Then simply click on OK. Now step number 5 is the power plan and for that you have to search for control panel and then go and search for power options and once you are over here simply select the high performance power plan as this will utilize the more energy on your device and basically allow your computer to consume more resources and give better performance. By default, it can be set up to balance. I highly recommend you guys to switch it to high performance. But if you are on a laptop, keep it to balance as it will save your laptop's battery life. Once it is done, close it and let's move to step number 5. That is create a restore point. Simply search for create a restore point over here and then select your local disk C or any drive it says system. Click on create, name it Genshin Impact and then simply click on create. Now it will take a while, let it do its job. This is basically to back up your system. If anything goes wrong, you can always restore everything back to normal. So do not skip this step. Once it is done,
best in game settings. Alright, once you're in the game, have a look around and see if your FPS are clean. If not, simply go into the settings. Then go into graphics and over here, the graphics quality, set it to custom. Display mode, go with 1920 by 1080 windowed or your native resolution of monitor. You can even reduce this resolution down to get extra FPS. Then FPS is by default is highest set to 60, so go with that. Vsync, turn this thing off. For some people, Vsync turned on gives better FPS. For some, Vsync turned off gives the better FPS. So go with that. Render resolution, set it to 1.1. You can lower it down to get much better FPS. I recommend going with 1.0, but if you have a super low end computer, go with 0.6. Shadow quality, go with the lowest. Visual effects, go with lowest. SFX quality, go with lowest. Environment detail, go with lowest. And then anti-aliasing, set it to FSR2 because this will automatically downgrade your game and then show it on a higher resolution to get much better FPS. Then volumetric fog, turn this thing off. Reflection, turn this thing off. Motion blur, go with off. Bloom, keep it on. Crowd density, go with low. Co-op teammate effect, partially off. Subsurface scattering, go with off or medium. And anisotropic filtering, go with 1x. Once you're done with these settings, Close it and then have a look around the game. It will look much minimalistic, but you will get those extra chunk of FPS. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could, make sure to do leave a like and smash that subscribe button down below. It seriously helps me out a lot. Also, don't forget to leave your specs in the comments below so I can help you out directly. We'll see you guys in another video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.